Hey guys, this is Keith with KJA Aquatics. Got another box of plants in today that I'm gonna unbox right now, so we'll get right into it. All right. We usually get a box in every week. So <clears throat> if there's something that you guys want that I don't have on, in stock, let me know. Because I could probably get it. Alright, the first plant I got. Nice, nice, nice. As usual, Amazon swords. Alright, very easy sword plant, very common in the in the hobby. Um, it's common because it's easy. Great plant, easy plant. These are grown immersed. Um, they will convert very easily. I do suggest with swords and a lot of other heavy root feeders that you use a, a root cap. Um, we also carry those. Thrive caps, one of the best, if not the best, uh, fertilizer line that you'll find online so root caps actually very reasonable in price um, these run I sell these for $14.99 for 60 you can make the Osmocote tabs that you got to fill yourself pain in the butt um, you get little yellow balls that'll leach out of the substrate once uh, once they're like used up and then you're fighting around getting those little yellow balls out from the, the Osmocote. No fun. Um, and plus I ain't got time to sit there and fill gel caps. It's much easier to buy Thrive Caps. Look these up online. You're not going to be able to read that, but look these up online. These are the, probably the most complete um, fertilizer cap uh, capsule that you'll find on the market. All right? Way better than the Chem product. Can tell you that for sure. Anyways, we'll get right into the next plant. So Amazon Swords there. Oh, not a plant, but snails. These are nerite snails. Let me get real close here. These are great with algae. These are I call these olive nerites. They're also called tiger eyes. I sell these for a buck fifty each. These are great on diatom algae and and some other algaes. Awesome snail, minimal bio load for your tank. Um, good housekeeping, nothing fancy. So these aren't the fancy red racers or the horn nerites, uh, but I guarantee you these will work just as hard, if not better. You know, people call them ugly, but they do a great job. All of nerites. Next up is Rotala Indica, all right? Rotala Indica, another semi-easy plant, all right? Ain't super easy, because you're gonna need medium light, but Rotala, is, Rotala Indica is a relatively easy stem plant. So I have these at good price. I'll sell these, I believe, for $1.99 a bunch, which is great. You can compare our prices against anybody, and you'll see we're either better. Um, I want to say we're better. I'll leave it at that. Rotella Indica. Next up is Brazilian Pennywort. I love this plant. I love how it smells. If you watch my other videos, you always see me take a sniff of it because it smells good. Brazilian Pennywort, another easy plant. You can float this. Um, you don't have to plant it in the substrate. These leaves will grow up and fan out over the top. Um, it's a lily type leaf. So Brazilian Pennywort, easy, easy plant. Next up is Moneywort, Bacopa Monera. Another easy stem plant. Copa Monera. This one has a nice little flower on it. Right there, you can see that. Pretty cool. Money Ward. Alright. Great stem plant. Again, $1.99. A bunch. Which is one, two, three. Looks like five stems in a bunch. Try to find that deal online. Pots. They're really not for sale unless you want to buy them. I use them here in my own uh, business. What else we got? These, I know what, these are assorted 
small Anubias on lava rock. All right, I got these in last week and they sold rather well, so I got more in. Find you. So you got a piece of lava stone right here and you have an Anubius attached, which is pretty cool. Instant aquascape. You don't have to fool around with trying to glue it. You can set these in. You can get multiple ones, stack them, stack them, use your imagination in your aquascape, but they're already preset for you. So there's assorted species on lava rock. Next up is Cryptocrine Wenthi. I love crypts. Probably my favorite species of plant in, in general. Crypts, cryptocrines. This is Cryptocrine Red Wenthi. I love these plants. Nice red stem. The, the leaves with good light will get a reddish hue to it. So, Crypt Wenthi Red. Anubius Afzeli. This is a smaller Anubius. All right. So Anubius Afzeli. Again, I'll have all I'll update my plant list on my Facebook page at facebook.com backslash KJE Aquatics. So facebook.com backslash KJE Aquatics. Pin towards the top of our page. We'll have um, we'll have our plant list. And don't forget, we also sell dry goods uh, so i have fish food filters water conditioner you name it pretty much everything you need um, anyways back to the plants anubius afzeli very nice little plant nice root bases on these um, these have a, a longer narrow leaf i really like this all right Next up, Tiger Lotus bulbs. And most of these right now I can see are sprouted, which is good. I'll sell these as sprouted bulbs. You can see the little plant starting to emerge, right? Tiger Lotus sprouted bulbs. If you don't know what a Tiger Lotus looks like, I suggest that you Google it and see what this little turd ball turns into very beautiful plant i have a bunch already growing out um, in different sizes i'll show I'll pull one right now this is a small these plants will get very big this leaf will get as big as my palm but you can see the red in the leaf tiger lotus comes green and red this actually particular plant you have some green color in the leaf but then you got some nice purplish reddish color also these get big and they look awesome and this plant right here is one of the easiest reddish colored plants you can get for a low-tech low to medium light tank all right a lot of people want the reds and you know other colors besides green in their low-tech tank to be honest you're not you're not going to get a lot of red um, in a low-tech tank. You need to go high-tech. But you can get reddish colors in the low-tech with Tiger Lotus, with Crypt Wenty green, uh, Red, with Crypt Wenty Brown. Um, there's a few other plants. Um, I'm just pulling these out of my head right now. Um, but to get the red, red, red colors, you need to go high-tech CO2. All right. Anyways, let's get back to the plant list. Italian Valicinaria. These are some nice ones too. Wow. The ones I got last week were a lot shorter, which doesn't mean that they're bad. They're just younger plants. So these ones are a little bit more mature. So they sat at the nursery a little bit longer, which is which is okay. Um, but they're just a little bit taller. And these plants will get probably two foot long these are probably 12 to 16 18 inches right now so italian valicinaria 
Cersei's online, easy, easy plant, great for low tech, low light tanks, Italian Valisinaria. All right. I love valves. The grassy looking, natural looking plant. Cryptocrine Balance. Oh, I told you I like Crips. This is probably one of my favorite Crips. And these look very nice right now, just looking at them in the bag. Cryptocrine Balance. These get long, grassy like, and it's really hard to tell, but you get a crinkle to the leaf. Really cool looking. They're a reddish, brownish color hue to the to the leaf um, these look awesome once you get the like the background of your plant uh, planted tank with these they look they're they're the cat's butt cryptocrine balance eh? love these guys one of my favorites all right moving along next up crypt loosens clunks this is one of my top sellers, actually. I buy these in clumps. I could buy them in individual plants, but I buy these in clumps, and you probably get, I don't even know. I'm guessing you got at least six plants in this clump right here. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, you get more bang for your buck. Sell these for five bucks a clump. Cryptocrine Lucens, very easy plant. Um, one of my top sellers. So you'll see me get these very regularly. Crypt Lucens. Next up, Moss Balls. These will, these will actually, they, they squeeze all the water out of them when they, when they ship them, which isn't bad. These will swell up and get a little bit bigger than this. So Moss Balls got restocked I've been out very popular I sell a lot of moss balls so I can guarantee you I beat the heck out of the big box stores on their price um, look at the big box store price and I laugh I say like they're janking people so next up cryptocrine spiralis another cool looking grass like looking um, Crypt, Cryptocrine Spiralis. These these leaves on these are not as wide as the Balance. They're a little a lot more narrower, more like the Italian valve. But this is a Cryptocrine species, so Crypt Spiralis. Another easy, great looking plant. Next up, Crypt Bacchetti. All right, I'm gonna run these. I'm gonna run a special on these because the nursery had a special on them. So I'm gonna pass my price savings on to you guys. Look at those. Very nice. Cryptocitty has a bronze colored leaf, bronze colored stem. Um, it's beautiful. Anyways, I got 20 of these here. I normally sell these for 350 a pop. I'm gonna sell the Cryptocitty. You could try to find a better price, but I'm gonna sell these for $1.99 a piece. Get them while you can, I only got 20. So Crypt Bacchetti on sale until this batch is gone for $1.99. Crypt Bacchetti, look them up online. Very nice looking Crypt, great looking plant. These little guys have turned out to be very popular and they've actually been in the hobby a very long time. I got a birthday coming up tomorrow. I'm gonna be 51. And I've been in the hobby since I probably, maybe 10 years old, maybe a little bit younger than that. So, and then these were in the hobby when I was a kid. Probably one of the few plants when I was a kid that you would actually see in the, in the, in the pet stores. This is the banana plant. Very easy plant. Do not have to plant it. All you do is drop it in the tank and let, let it do its thing. These, these leaves here are 
it's a nymphoid, so you're going to get a lily, lily type leaf. Um, these leaves will get a lot bigger than this in diameter and they'll grow up to the surface, spread out a little bit. They grow a little bit slow, not real fast, um, but you got this cool looking rhizome and that's where they get the name from. Um, it looks like banana, so the banana plant. I love these guys just because they've been in the hobby as, as long as I have, so they got some stay time. Banana plant, look at these guys. Ain't that cool looking? Sorry. That is very cool looking. Like, and again, you just drop them in the tank. These will sit in the tank just like that. And they'll grow. They'll grow some white roots out of the out of the bottom. And sometimes I'll bond with the substrate, but don't need it. Rock wool. I also have this for sale. This is how I pot plants. Um, just to show you, potted plants, they usually take the rock wool, split it here. Um, they'll put the plant in there and stuff that in. Uh, I don't have one close by. The other ones are bagged up. Anyways, they'll stuff that in the two inch netted pot and then you got the potted plant and it'll grow from there. So this this takes place of the substrate really. It's um, it's absorbent, so it, it holds the nutrients really well for the plants. Anyhow, I buy these because I, I pot some of my own plants, but if you guys want to try it, we also I'll also sell it to you. Right. Next up, it's Cryptocrine Wenti Brown. Another, another beautiful crypt. And it's really not brown. I say it's more of a bronze. But you got to look at the color of the stems. Look at that color of the stem in there. It's like a purplish color. Um, the leaves are darker color, so a bronze looking color. Crypt Wenti Brown. That's what they call it. I'm going to rename it to Crypt Wenti. I look very cool. Alright. Next up. Cryptocrine Lutea, large. So this order here, it looks like I mainly ordered Crypt, um, which again, I told you is my favorite. Crypt Cryptocrine Lutea, I love these guys. And it's pretty cool, if you like Crypts like I do, you could do your Aquascape and you can mix species. So you could do a couple of these, mix a couple of Wenti in there, a couple of Lucens in there, and then you get the contrast of the colors and the leaf shape can do a lot of stuff with these and they're easy crypts are easy um, you might get some melt back some people say they get melt back on them but don't let that scare you um, they might melt back a little bit when they when they change um, tanks but they, they grow so easy and minimal care low to medium light um, you could you could fertilize with root caps or these also work if you just want to fertilize with a, with a, a water column fertilizer which we sell also this was one I have in use so right now I'm using Thrive C um, Thrive C I have to grow most of my plants low tech low to medium light Thrive C is, is what I commonly use right great great product which we sell and we can combine Thrive um, our fertilizers, again, I tell you, foods and everything else can get combined shipping. So that allows us to compete and actually beat um, a lot of other suppliers. And we're very competitive with Amazon. I could actually kick Amazon's butt on most things. All right. Last but not least, a lot of people were bugging me for it. So I brought some in. Water Sprite. I don't even know how many I brought in. I only brought in a dozen plants. But water sprite. Easy plant, easy to grow. Love this stuff. Alright? Water sprite. Get it while you can. I don't have a lot. Alright? Anyways, that's what I got. Another uh, nice group of plants. Um, easy to grow. And. Uh, 
I ain't really got much else to say. If you want to look at our plant list, uh, facebook.com backslash KJE Aquatics, or you can email me at KJE Aquatics at gmail.com. All right, we'll be happy to answer any questions you have, offer support, offer uh, advice, whatever you need. Um, we're there to help you. So, anyhow, that's all I got. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me hook you up with plants, foods, water conditioners, whatever you need. I got it for you. Thanks, guys. Peace.